Hello, I'm Mike Mosier. I'm going to spend a few minutes telling you about themes of Dartmouth College, which I attended 1973 through 77 in my artwork. My work has largely been influenced by outside imagery, things I see, life drawing of models, uh, often that are posing for my classes, and politics, political themes that trouble me uh, around the world or in uh, the United States. Inspired by Orozco, I could never understand how anyone could study anything other than the walls in the reserve room. Painted community murals. I was doing what I called photocubism, using source material but pushing around the forms. And so I took uh, Webster's nice big uh, dome of a forehead and uh, flowing romantic era hair and high collar and messed with that. I remember the filmmaker Stan Brackage thundering in a talk in Carpenter Hall Dartmouth has never produced a true artist, and I think um, some cool girl in the film society decided to drop out uh, as a result of that. But um, I thought, well, it came up with this genre of Webster, so maybe uh, it was beholden upon me to start messing with it. Uh, my work, graphics in little neighborhood newspapers, uh, soon got me involved in the new field in the 1980s of computer graphics. Uh, in Lumina paint systems. I did a piece inspired by a cover story in the alumni magazine in the 80s about Ohiesa, Charles Eastman, the sole Native American in the class of 1885. I was asked by the LGBT students at our university to participate in a show celebrating uh, their new center. Our nephew uh, had been murdered by gay bashers in Kingston, Jamaica shortly before that. So I exhibited a version of the Ohiesa uh, as an image of the other, somebody feeling out of their element, whether um, minority people in college or Midwestern hippie. Uh, I thought the image of Ohiesa uh, among the pink bellies of his classmates on the first warm day of spring uh, when everybody takes off their shirt oh, could be a an appropriate uh, metaphor. So to my classmates, best wishes and good health. See ya.